Bison and Hunter here. If you guys enjoy this video, you guys should become patrons over on Patreon uh, to support the channel, subscribe, all that stuff. When so, I woke up this morning and I was putting on clothing, I looked at this pink shirt and I was like, hmm, is it a pink shirt day? It is a pink shirt. But then you dressed like that, and I'm like, I guess it's a pink shirt day. Because we're trying to summon Neo. Yeah. It's been, it started off as like Neo Watch 2015, then 16, 17. We are now like in 18, still waiting for Neo to return. You think for how much I like pink, like as a person, like my, like I have a giant pink canopy in my room, like I have pink comforters and pink pillows, like I couldn't find a solid pink shirt, but that's okay because it's white. And then it's pink, and that's like Neo colors, and your hair's brown. And so together, we make up the coloration to summon Neo. I mean, and we really hope that like she's gonna be in this episode. Jeans, so let's okay, just well, they can't see you, those. so it's fine. Anyway, we're really excited for this episode, so let's just you get it anyway. My information. Oh shit, Cinder's just. We're starting like that, are we? Okay. Of course I do, darling. Uh, they switched sides. Yes, I think they were on the other sides us. before. <laughs> Although. I okay. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying. I like the little, Word her little cigar, <laughs> or whatever she's smoking. Well, that isn't exactly far oh my god, look me. at her shoes. All Hunter, that's a fashion disaster. <laughs> that's a little weird, bows Chances on your shoes. I love how this is a tense scene and you're looking at her fucking I'm just saying. shoes. Look at how far you know, her cigarette is, or whatever. Quite the interesting you gotta... customer. Mm -hmm. Cinder. Oh shit! How do you know? It's not often. Single client brings me double the business. Oh! 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 Oh, oh shit! Wait! Ah! She's right! They're gonna start with her! Oh my god! Oh, she's dressed the same! Oh, look at her, Hunter! Maybe put away the good glass. Oh, fuck! <laughs> wow, that was quick! Oh, shit! Shit! I didn't think they'd start like this! She's not talking! Ah! She's not talking! Holy shit, Hunter! I like how they're just- I feel like her eye makeup is different. Like, I, I think it's a little more green. green. Yeah. Oh my god. She still has her hand behind oh, her back because she like she's such a badass! <laughs> oh, you shit! Oh, that was a good eye. I love her, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> what the? She was smiling! Why? That's creepy! Who, Neo? Yes! When she was thrown there, Oh she was my just god! Because she's enjoying herself! That's enough, ladies! I love dinner and show. Do you really think that gun's gonna stop any of them? Take ah. this outside. Oh god. I love her traveling. She's so cute. What the fuck? You've gotten stronger. But so have I. So have I. <laughs> I can write for the show. <laughs> oh, she, oh, she oh, has fuck. Robin's head! Oh, Hunter! Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't have time for your misplaced blame, girl. I didn't kill your boss. Mm. If you want revenge, take it up with little... That's what we said! <laughs> That's okay. what we said she would say, remember? Something like that. I'm just like winning. Oh, see? They're doing it! Listen! We both want that girl dead. They're doing it! Yeah, they're doing what we want! <laughs> so quit wasting your time fighting me. And let's discuss how we kill her together. Ah, I called yes! it! Let's talk. Wow, Ruby profits yet again. Talk and she points at her mouth. Right. Oh. Right. 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 So right. I guess she doesn't talk. I guess she can't though. I don't know. <sighs> Holy shit! I didn't think they would start that way! <laughs> ah, okay. Well now I don't know what to do with myself. Well that's what we predicted yeah. that they would do, right? So good Did job! Damaged or <gasps> unfinished. I'm like, I'm gonna like start hyperventilating. Fine. We'll oh, go inside. No. Before things took a turn. The place looked like it had a chimney. Hmm. Stay on guard. 
Is this like the three, not the three little pigs, Goldilocks? Like they just enter some person's house without permission. <laughs> okay. B. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but maybe, the maybe it is. Already. Oh. It's cold enough in here as it is. My nipples are like goddamn razor oh, blades. Oh God, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah, great. Barricade the door so no one can come in. Fan we can get a fire going. Please, I'll look for some blankets. Yeah, go with her. Oh. Well, pins, I'm just gonna walk. Crow out and here Ruby now. alone. Okay. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna have a summer rose. All right, there's oh. photos on the wall. Okay. We can learn. This is creepy. What if the I'm clock getting, just like, comes alive? <laughs> I'm getting like horror. Okay. So. No one in that photo what looks. What do you think? Something doesn't feel right. Wow, Blake this and Ruby creepy. interacting. Weiss! I'm getting like like haunted. There's house just vibes. a body. Is it the little girl? Oh, oh yeah. what the so, uh, hell? That's not good. That's bad. Yo, did Ruby just show, like... Weiss like, is, like, traumatized. Decaying corpses? I mean, they just died in their sleep, you know? That's okay. They had, like, right? sunken eyes. Yeah, but their, their corpse is rotting. Hunter, it's not a big deal. God, I would probably smell... You'd probably smell that before you saw it, but I digress. It's the same in every house. Oh. What? Bodies. Every bed in every home. So a disease. Like the whole estate just went to sleep and never woke up. Oh. Then we're not staying here, right? We don't have a choice. Maybe it's a grim? Storm outside. Maybe it's like worse. haunted nonsense. Is that what Jigglypuff does? Anyway. What's a Pokemon that like puts people to sleep That's and it's Jigglypuff. like haunted and stuff? Yeah, okay. Oh, I know what I'm haunted? talking about. Jigglypuff is a not, not that she's haunted, but people write creepypastas where Jigglypuff yeah, is evil and puts people to sleep. Okay, then. Let's do something. What not? If this place wasn't abandoned, let's play cards. Have supplies we could use. Hey, yeah, maybe even a car. A I'll do car. another sweep of the grounds. No one else goes anywhere alone, except for me. Yang and I can search the other buildings. For ah! ah! No one goes anywhere. Me, Velma, and Daphne are gonna go upstairs. <laughs> you and Scooby can check the basement. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Yang and Blake. Okay. Whatever gets me out of this house. Oh, they want to have a talk! <laughs> Team unappropriately dressed for the weather. Okay. They're all inappropriately dressed for the weather. So and you're just dressed. leaving Weiss with Ozpit? Oh, no. Okay. So Ruby's just making sure the door is, like, hella locked. Oh, um, look at her! Food always makes me feel better. <laughs> just saying. Right. I'll tell you what. You keep that fire fed. And I'll find us a story to read before bed. Oh, oh. Maria's gonna tell us a story! I feel like she's gonna do something now. How about you do difficult work where I stay over here I mean, and read a story? I mean, that's like the whole fairy tale thing. The men get the firewood and then the matriarch of the family tells the fairy tales, right? I, guess I took a fairy tale course this the, semester. Is she the fucking matriarch? Is, is that yeah. the, Oh! Uh, so... Those look... For a second, I thought they were so cans of food, but now they just look like... Legal. Basket. Basket. Buckets. Buckets. Oh, Why Blake's so buskets? funny. Well, I'm pretty Trying sure you can... Trying to make Yang laugh can, like that, in, like... in Northern Ontario or in Ontario, you, you can drive rat tractors on, like, country There's roads. There's that well in the square. Maybe water so, contamination. Like, yeah, maybe. Typhus? Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Oh! I mean, no. But What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just What's tired. wrong? Everything? I'm yeah. just tired. What a mood. Like, that's what I say when I'm upset. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, I found something. They just, like, start, like, going at it in this abandoned Really? Park. That's what happens! Movies, okay, I don't make the. Oh, what the fuck! Okay, this what place is, is haunted. I'm sorry. I... No, it's not haunted. It was just Adam. I'm sorry, it's haunted. It was... Was just seeing but Adam's it. not dead, so I'm how sorry. is it haunted? I don't know, but it's still haunted. I still get flashes from that night. 
Oh, Hunter, no. Do you think Adam's still out there? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah! I know. What do you I mean you don't know? know? You know! There have been serious consequences, but he never really liked people telling him what to do. Adam's strong, but his real power comes from control. He used to get in my head, make me feel small. Aww. But now I see he just wanted to pull me down to his size. Ah, Hunter! I'm not leaving. Ah! I promise I'll be there. Ah! Now do it on the hay bale. I'll what? protect you. Wait. What? Forget it. Let's protect just head you. back. Wow! Why was that a bad thing? You guys are protecting each other. Pop it up to Bumblebee in the morning. Should carry everyone. I'll protect you. Yikes! Why is that a bad thing? Come on, Yang. I'll protect you. Yeah. Who who has said something like "I'll protect you" before? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she just doesn't want to feel weak. I guess. I guess. Uh, no. All right, Weiss. Lumios. It's like that thing Dumbledore has. I didn't know yeah. that she could do that. Meanwhile, Ruby's like the actual person, thought, you know. Maybe we should keep this room closed. Huh? I'm just uh, worried about Uncle Crow. Not sure how well my uncle's taking all of this. Oh Can no! Be bar. Yeah, I was about to make a joke about um, how has Crow on. not found we'll this already? Never get on an empty stomach. I don't know. Something's wrong here. Ruby. Ruby. Are we really still going to Atlas? Do we have to? Why wouldn't we be? I mean, you heard what Jen said. If there's no way to kill Salem, then what's the point in all of this? Weiss, you can't be serious. Well, then what else is he supposed to think? I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm just really tired and I wow, everyone really, just... really hate this. Place. Whoa, everybody's tired. I don't know. Oh! What if everybody's oh! tired? Oh, fuck! The Everyone's grim is making sleepy. everyone tired! This place is haunted. See? Look! She, will never have she's tired. Starting a fire. What's that? Everyone looks tired. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, it's a tornado oh, no. bunker. Oh, this is a horror oh, it movie. It starts rattling. Great. Uh, what? Oh. What is it? Food! Tree bros beans? And food. Oh, trust me, you put enough salt on anything and it will taste just fine. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, look how cute they are. No, that thing's gonna start rattling or some shit right but now. I still seriously hate this place. If it rattles. Boom! No, it is, obviously. Oh, yeah, see? Something, something. And that's the end of the episode, isn't yeah. it? Hello? Oh, that's upsetting! Okay! Huh. Oh my god. Well now, okay. 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 I love- I like I'm happy so because- So everybody Leo. on the farm is just dead, I guess. Whoa, 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 wait a second! What? Did, was- was Neo's I name swear to god they had- Neo's A voice, voice actress actor. listed. Did they do voice actresses first? Yes. Okay, there. Um, no. No. I'm losing my mind. No. Okay, never mind. She didn't speak at all. She pointed at her mouth, too, so it was like, I wonder if... I'm still not convinced she can get Ooh, it. there's a new song here! Oh, yeah. I hadn't heard that one. It sounded more like heart metal -ish. Are we gonna see Neo again? I hope we see Well, obviously, Neo. we're gonna keep I seeing her, I thought there her, was right? gonna be some, like, big twist up with Neo, but no, she just had a little bit of green eyeshadow, which I'm like, did Roman have that? The eyeshadow? Yeah. Do you want to look, it, look him up? Look I mean, don't do it now. now we can talk about it in our analysis. Yeah, in, in, but man, yeah. they really started with that, didn't they? I mean, we'll talk about this in our analysis, but I'm so glad that our idea was right. Yes. That this is what they're gonna That's do. It. Well, it makes sense. Yeah, really, it does. It like, makes sense. But, like, wow, we got another one. Another <laughs> one! Anyway. Another one. That's because, it. Because if it wasn't Roman, I know Pura had green eyeshadow eyeshadow which is totally not going to be her but which still, is not related at all but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed hunter's gonna do some research for our analysis video and we will see you guys later bye hello everybody it is cox and hunter here if you guys enjoy this video you guys should become patrons over on patreon uh to support the channel subscribe all that fun fun stuff so 
This was my Neo summoning wig. And, and it worked. It summoned, you, know it what, summoned you, know what, you know what summoned Neo? Neo? What? Because you've dressed like that before. It was no. We both dressed in pink. That yeah. like we both, okay. independent of each other, I see. realized like this was going to be then, the day. And then, you know, it all, it all yeah, mixes it all in. Like your hair is brown, my shirt's white. Like it all... Wah! Okay, so... Why do I have these and we're not listening to anything? Anyway, um, I'm really happy because this is another win for Kelaxon and Hunter because if you guys remember, we did a video and we were like, oh, you know what Cinder may try to do? Manipulate Neo into going after Ruby because she'll blame it all on Ruby. Like, it's all Ruby's fault. Let's work together and go kill her. We did that. They did that. So, I mean, if you guys need to, I mean, yeah. Because, like, why would she want to hurt Cinder? Like she's it's because of Roman, revenging, and so if Roman, or if they can blame, torture. they can blame Roman on Ruby. They could yeah. work together. Well, because so, they should blame. They they should. I mean, it was kind of Ruby's fault, I guess. Not entirely. It was more or less that Grimm's fault, but well, yeah. If they weren't up there fighting, I also the like with, right? how like I thought there was going to be more build up to the fight. It was no. just like nah, bitch, Neo, and I she comes that. in and immediately starts kicking ass, and I like that fight scene. But yeah, so it was obvious, but I'll still take that as a win because some people were saying, well, no, Neo wouldn't fall for. I mean, it's not really a fall for that no, either. Like it just makes fault. logical yeah. sense. <laughs> like that's my opinion on it anyway. But yeah, I'm glad that we took home another win just because like we've been doing so well with predictions this volume right hunter like yes, the gin have. stuff and oh, then God, the gin stuff like, was, like you should do parts it. of the lore dump mm -hmm. i guess like not all of it because like that'd be ridiculous <laughs> like parts of it right um and so now i'm like yeah yes bitch like we're here we're getting that. Like, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if like one day Rooster Teeth is gonna be like, like some some employees feeding this girl like information. There's no possible way that they could no. be right that many times. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. Anyway, Hopefully we don't get anyone fired. Hopefully not. I don't think that's likely to occur. I hope not. Anyway, uh, so I like how Little Miss gives Cinder her info. Like she yeah. comes like clean or it comes Cinder. right on her deal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. And I guess Neo was also looking for Cinder, right? Because she's like, usually I don't have a customer that gives me double the profit or whatever. For a second, I thought um, that was your Neo voice. No, no, no. I'm like, why does Neo sound like a southern lady? Well, look at her uh, umbrella, right? That's very, that's 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 very southern, right? Know. Huh? That's what? The little Miss is very southern, like that little like thing that she has her the cigarette cig on. Yeah, I love it. She was just letting that go too. Yeah, like, she was like, just letting that burn. That? <laughs> well, that's what I was saying. I mean, don't, but also, like, Neo looks really to? cool. I'm yes. kind of mad they didn't change up her outfit too much. I mean, she's wearing Roman's hat, hat which I hat, appreciate. It came out of nowhere. I like that she's just as manic as always, because there's a part of... I really dug the fight. At first, I was like, ah, but I liked how first they were just sparring. I, I like, just really? like her movement, fighting? too, Are right? Are we fighting? And then well, that's start, what like, she said. She was like, really, Neo? She was and like... And then they start, like, really going at each other to the point where Cinder's just like, look, I'm a god. Just sit down, I know. kid. He was like, yeah, um, there was also a new song, and I couldn't decipher the lyrics. I'm sure somebody will, like, And then that'll eventually. be a video for you. Uh, and that'll be a video for another day. But basically, it's talking about retribution, and I was listening to some of the lyrics. It sounded like something like, like, um, like, misery, and so I'm guessing, like, the idea is, is Neo's life was, like, full of misery, but then she met Roman, and he made everything better, and that was, like, the one thing, and now she has nothing. Like, that's what the lyrics sounded like to me, so. I'm guessing this is a Neo-centric sort of song to yeah. give us insight about her, her character and stuff. And I like how Little Miss and them are just sitting there, and as, when, like, Cinder and Neo hit the table, she just pushes them forward. <laughs> like, she's just like, ah, no, honey, like, we're watching, okay? Like, we're not getting involved. And then she just sends them outside. She was like, well, this was fun, but I got stuff to do. See ya. Right, Hunter? Like, I, I just really like that. Okay. And all the movement was really fluid, I think. I like that, that Neo looked manic the whole time, because there's a scene when they're fighting on the, the What do you bar, mean manic, though? The bar, and, like, uh, Cinder throws her off the bar, and, like, you see, you flash briefly, you see that she's, like, still smiling widely. I mean, that's not manic, that, though. I don't know, manic, creepy. She's just very happy. She's very smiley, and I dislike it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's disturbing. I like it though because it shows no, that I like it, you know she but doesn't. It, she it is disturbing. she doesn't take the fighting so seriously. I don't know. You see, think... she stops smiling when she puts on the hat, and she looks so sad. Like she looks at Cinder, and she looks so sad, like outside of the bar or whatever. And we're just like, oh. Also, this is the first time we see Neo in the new art style. Yeah. And I don't know, she looks like she kind of, I don't know, she just looks so round and I love her. She looks so round? Her head looks round. I'm just like her hair and like She's very round. cute. 
Very Definitely. Cute. She looks very cute. Um, I love, like, how Little Miss is like, I love myself dinner and a show, but <laughs> I'm busy. Y'all need to take this on the street, and they're like, okay, and they break They just window. jump out the window. I was like, motherfucker. I mean, that's okay. And I like how Cinder's like, you've gotten stronger, but so have I, or whatever she said. Because while we were watching the reaction, as soon as Cinder said that, I was like, and so have I, and like, we... We basically said it one after another. It was just funny. Anyway. Um, but yeah, she's wearing Roman's hat, and then Cinder's like, I didn't kill your boss. Like, if you have an issue, you should take it up with Little Red, or whatever, because that's what Roman used to call <laughs> Ruby. Anyway. Um, you're not the only one with a grudge against Ruby. That's not how Cinder sounds at all. But then she pulls out the maiden powers to really end the fight. And Neil looks at her, not, like, scared, but, like, in awe, because she's never seen Cinder, I guess, do that before. Right? Yeah. And so Cinder just starts floating, and Neo's like, uh, like, this well, is literally gonna, the look on her face. She kind of looks like when Raven Brandwin showed up, and, and but she doesn't just look like, scared. I'm gonna lose this you fight. You know what I mean? So like, she stop. doesn't look scared, because her eyes don't flash yeah. or whatever. Like, she doesn't look scared. She Similar looks at her though. more in, like, wow. Right, like, like you know what I mean? Like, wow. 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 <laughs> you know, I was saying, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, was, like, no, 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 no. I was, like, in the fight scene, she briefly, like, Mary Poppins and, like, slopes down with her umbrella. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's an amazing moment at the end. It's like, we can talk this through, and Neo just points at her mouth, and she's like, right. I wonder yeah. if Neo's, like, cursed. But I'm also confused, because we everyone thought, like, Neo was mute, and then they were like, no, Neo can talk, and now Neo's like, no words. And so I think they just, like, they, they scratch that I, off, and I don't think Neo's... I don't know. Unless it's, like, a flashback? Because we've been having a few of those I wonder season. if she... I don't know how to explain this, but I wonder if she actually can't talk or if she doesn't want to or she's cursed or, I, or yeah something i don't know off. like just because like that i don't was a big of... fan fiction thing back in the day having like, me having tongue tongue cut off. Off. i don't know <laughs> i i feel like it was more of a gag than anything like maybe cinder want or maybe neo wants people to think that she can't talk and then she'll bust it out Eventually. So and so I, maybe that wasn't something for the audience. That was something, okay. you know, directed. There's also, her. I noticed that you said that she had the green eye makeup. In volume like, three, apparently. Apparently. But I'm also like, Allegedly. I really don't remember that. I don't think that's uh, true. People haven't... Uh, and I so I tried to up. look up why she would do that. And the best answer I got was that uh, Roman had green eyes. Oh! So that's the best I got. I don't think Roman had green eye makeup. but No, he eyes. didn't. Hold yes. on. I'm going to look this up and see if in... Yeah, she does. You can see it faintly. Yeah, but, but that's she when does. she's in disguise. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's still the, it's still the same thing. No, she anyway, I can't. She doesn't have it when she's she... normal Neo. Yeah, but she has it as every oh, other Neo. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe. it's just part oh, of yeah. her okay, yeah. design. I really don't remember that. No. Also, well, it kind of ruined just throwing y'all can in a look up pictures. For, I mean, not really. It's maybe well, because maybe because Roman was in jail, so maybe she was missing him then as well, and so put the green on. Maybe. But yeah, yeah, you can Come see. Come on, girl. It. Your name's Neapolitan. Don't fuck with it. Uh, well, I think everybody eyeballs. just got eye makeup for some reason. Like in Volume Three, like it seems well, like everybody Brown just suddenly eye makeup. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but it seems like yeah, she had the green. I'm sure it. I don't think it means anything. Like I'm sure it's not. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm just gonna imagine it's the the, uh, the Roman. Maybe, thing. but I don't know. Like also maybe we'll pink get and green are complementary colors are to an now? extent. Well, red, red and green, right? That's why okay. Christmas colors are red and green because they go together well. And so pink is just like a subset of red. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? What's this? Uh, lime green and pink? Not not. I shouldn't say a subset, but like you know what I'm anyway, saying. Like it's just. Similar. It's, uh, of... yeah, well, pink is just lighter red, pretty much. Like, sure. you mi what do you mix to get pink? It's re red and white. Yes. Yeah, so it's just lighter, right? And even, like, even when things, like, like look, my Switch has, like, green and pink, green and pink Joy-Cons. Like, that's just, <laughs> now my Switch is off. I'm putting it away. But, yeah, that's all I was trying to say, is that they, they go together. So, I'm sure that they just thought it would be a nice accent to her outfit. Or maybe that's, like, a hint at her real... Like, self, I guess. Because a lot of people say that we see her in disguise a lot, that this could be another disguise. And so if she has that eye makeup throughout all of her disguises, 
then you maybe her, it's an indication of something. You see her teleporting a lot and turning into glass a lot, which is I a know. little disturbing because a human just turns into glass. I mean, that's her semblance. So it's Not okay. the most disturbing thing that happens in this episode. We no. see that a little later. So, so they're on a meanwhile, journey together and who they're hunting Ruby and Ruby are not having a good time. No. So they go in the house and these people are just decomposed. Like, these people have well, been okay, dead. Well, okay, first it's a blizzard. I mean, th- like, we knew we about to, the blizzard We need to come already. into the house. They come into this house. It has total haunted house vibes. Uh, like, like I okay. think just the shooting, the creepy, the scream, like, that's all classic, scream. like, Resident Evil. Well, because they walk in and, like, Oh, uh, well, White screamed, though. That was White her. Screamed. It wasn't a random person. I mean, she yeah, screamed because still, she saw two dead part, bodies. Well, yeah. And right. so they see these two dead bodies. And, like, I know Ruby's been leaning a little more hardcore recently, but that was hard fucking core. Man. I mean, like, that, that didn't bother spooky. me. So. No, that was fucked up. They had like something. It bothers eyes. you, but it doesn't bother. Well, listen, you I'm don't you don't mind because you've been around a lot of sunken eyed corpses in your spare time, Cal. But I us non serial killers. Yeah. Well It's creepy. You know. Also, like, if I was watching like a stand up comedy show and someone said fuck. Like, I'd be like, okay, sure, whatever. But if I was watching Care Bears and fucking, like... But this isn't Care Bears, Hunter. Like, and, like, pr- lying, you know, they're Proud off Heart. You, and, like, YouTube Proud Heart now. was they can like, do whatever. motherfucker, we're gonna get those bears. I'd be like, whoa! And, like, I understand Ruby's not, like, Care Bears. It never really was. And no. it definitely isn't anymore. But uh, I'm still not used to how it's just being like, yeah, we'll show a little fucked up stuff. So, like, it's still It's not that fucked up. These people died peacefully... In well, their who sleep. knows? Who? Well, or, we can, we well they died video. in their sleep, so well, we don't we'll know if it was vi- peaceful. We'll have a video about that later. But anyway, so Weiss is just traumatized. Terry's now. gonna die like, saving the president, or Terry's never gonna die. Anyways, continue. Wait, what? That was a Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh reference. God. Um, <laughs> uh, so Maria's just like. What? Going through the books. Like, she's yeah. just snooping. Um, but, um, Maybe she's gonna read a book and, like, we're finally gonna figure out what her deal is. Maybe. Because, like, she was... She knows something. She has something about her. Here's something interesting. Yeah. So, Oscar and Ruby... Or, Oscar and Blake push that thing against the door. Yes. Right? But then in another scene, Ruby has to push that thing against the door again. So it's almost like it came out a bit and she had to keep pushing it. Was it Does that be- make no, sense? was it because no Crow left? Yeah, and so and Crow Shanta, maybe yeah. Crow just didn't put it back properly, I guess. Really, so, yeah. I guess but that, yeah. Is that really interesting? No, I thought it could be like <laughs> a haunted thing that maybe. somebody still... came through the door. But anyways, they're just like while Crow oh, and was so, doing the thing. Uh, so Blake's just uh, right Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're not done yet. Everybody calm the fuck down. So, you know, Weiss is in the blankie. Um, I oh, have, right. I have yeah, notes, okay? Yeah. So, I, we looked up some fairy tales, and we're not gonna talk about this now, but they're people really wanted the Headless Horseman. I don't necessarily think that's what's going on here anymore. We have anymore. a different idea for what it is. I mean, we, we had a different idea last week, too, right? The gesture yeah, type it, it character, doesn't which look could like be it's connected to this, though, because what if people fall well, asleep in their dreams, and then well, their greatest fears haunt them to death well, or something? Like, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. I think it's like a Swedish folklore. And well, that's German. what we were saying. So there's an old hag character okay. in the in Anyways. the folklore thing, and we'll talk about that later, but Maria's the old hag, right? So She's my abuela hag. Stay, stay tuned yeah. for that video. But I was just thinking about it, because, so like, anyways. if there is an old hag, it's Maria. But anyway, uh, so Blake and Yang have a pretty tense conversation. I mean, okay, it was going for, well for a second. First off, what? Yang was just like, all right, she totally, like, fretted him. Like, yeah, me, Velma, and Daphne are going to go upstairs. You and Scooby check out the basement. She was really like, yeah, I'm going to take my girl, and we're going to go look for food. And they okay. go into the garage. So all you had to say was shipping stuff. All yes. right, thanks for interrupting. Because... Listen. <laughs> to talk about your listen, shipping father. Listen, listen. This channel is built on shipping. I How get dare it. you? I don't know. Anyway. This economy, this is a shipping economy. So it looks like that they still have a lot of issues that need to be resolved because like they seem to be on a good place like for a second, then it it dipped, right? Because Blake was like, like, if Adam ever comes back, don't worry, I'll protect you. And, like, for a second, because they were doing this, Yang was smiling. And then as soon as Blake said that, I'll Yang was you. not smiling she was, anymore. Like, she did this weird, she was like, what? 
N never mind. And she left. And so initially we were confused. I think I don't think it's confusion. I understand. I think okay. So what? Because my my take it's is just that, that Yang doesn't want to have want Yang wants to feel powerful. She feels like she's been. It, it's an, I don't think it's necessarily about power, but she doesn't want people to baby her. Maybe right same because thing. taking down General the bag thing. or yeah. like right that's what got her yeah. mad was he, like Blake like you know taking down the bag for her like she can do stuff herself. But, but this was and, different. This was specifically involved. Yeah, I know, Adam. but I'm saying it's both connected like it's all connected to each other that blake is treating her differently and well, like babying maybe, her and maybe. trying to like protect her like she's the, too weak bag, to fight for the herself bag, or it felt whatever like it was specifically related to her disability of, of her yeah of but it's all the same like it's, I, no uh, I feel like hunter it's, it's all connected no, because the bag it, was like about her like not having the robot arm and this was no, more about how she lost the robot arm like no her fear was but <laughs> it's like it's all about the fact that like that Blake sees her differently now because yes. of the robot arm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's I, all mm. it's all the same thing. I don't think it's any different. Like I don't think there are any differences because kind, it's I, that Blake feels like Yang can't do stuff for herself or protect herself or any of that. And Blake and Yang's yeah. just like I can take down my own fucking bag. I can fight my own fucking battle. Like she doesn't want. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it's different. Like. <sighs> It's not, I don't think it's about being strong, though. I think it's about, like, smothering. Like, Blake coddling I her. I still think, I mean, yeah, right? coddling is a part of it. It's not. No, it's a part of it, but I still think I don't it's think about it's about strength. the problem of, like, oh, well, I don't need anyone to protect me. I'm a big girl. Like, no, I don't think it's about that. No, it's, it's not about, like, she doesn't need anyone. I just think It's she's... more like she doesn't, she wants them to protect each other. She doesn't want it to be, mm, like... You know I what know. I mean? It, she doesn't want to be seen as unequal to her partner. She wants them, Maybe like, to have a, like, that partner relationship I, I like Weiss the, and Ruby. I still think right? the power you know is, is a part of it. I don't, I don't think but so. But anyways, that we're gonna learn more That has nothing to do with her it. being mad about the backpack, though. <laughs> Well, I'm not talking. You just brought up the. Back. I know, but I wasn't because it's a backpack. connected incident. I mean, That's yeah, what I'm no, saying. I think they're related, the but I just thing. I think they're related but slightly different. Is all I'm saying. And we're gonna learn more it's about not, it. It's not. I don't think it's about necessarily strength or not having strength. It's that Blake sees her as somebody that can't do things for herself anymore because she does lack and, the strength. Well, yeah, but it's not just about phys. It's not just about physical strength. <laughs> not like that but it's anyway, like all yang wanted know, to do was I, I like travel you, around you, and like be you. a huntress and like all that stuff and so i think it's more about like hey like i'm not like i don't need to like you know sit around and not not be able to do anything for myself for the rest of my life yeah, like it's yeah, I, think I think it's more yeah, that's, that's, that oh, hmm. I'm not like, disagreeing. With I know you. it's just she doesn't need Blake well. to, to tell her about be like she's Blake anyways, has seen Yang fight. Like, that felt like right? a did come. Like I wasn't expecting that bit of conflict. I was a little surprised. I mean, like we knew that they were gonna have a fight. I think mm -hmm. right. And I think that's that's the first of <laughs> presumably a few. Yeah. And so we cut to. What? Why are you moving on already? Well, I don't know. <laughs> what else do you want to say? You I seem just... to have planted your flag in the ground. No, here. I just I think that like. Yang ha or Blake has seen Yang fight Grim yeah. right in battle, and so it's not about like her not being able to fight anymore. Or be well, I think it's not anymore. about Grim. I think maybe I think specifically more, Adam. Because yeah. they were talking about Adam, so I think that she and wants I think to, in Bl in Yang's felt... mind they would fight Adam together, like in tandem, and like in, in get Yang's there. Mind? Yeah, in Yang's mind, if they ever came across Adam, they would fight him like together, like as I a unit, so, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And so I think it's more about that. I think I think maybe it made more about her because for. Or, you oh, know, Yang to sit by and not be able to take her revenge on the person that hurt her while Blake fights her battles. Like, I would have a problem with that if I were Yang. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's valid. Anyway, and she's shaking, so we see that again. Yes. I, Do you she, think she that Adam snuck onto the train? I'm just because saying. Because I'm, I'm still saying, wondering like, if no, he snuck onto the train no, or not. We did so. a whole video about that. Do you remember? I don't know if you also, were Also, the fact that they brought up her PTSD and that she saw, like, Adam outside and then they talk about Adam and that's... I think it's more about Adam. I know that, that, but I'm saying, yeah. like, as another thing, do you that, think like, that Adam always... snuck onto the train? Uh, no. But then what's the point? Like, how is he gonna... What was the point of doing an Adam character short if he's just not relevant? Like, if we saw him that one time and then we're just gonna see him in flashbacks. Like, somebody talked I about like it being an artistic thing. Like, we're all, like, like we're all waiting, like, for him to show up. Yeah. And then he never shows up, so we get into Yang's mind. Like, somebody said it was an artistic, like... Yeah, I, I don't... Choice I mean, or something I, like I that, but that, I but... was, like... I don't know. I'm just saying... 
I wonder if he did sneak onto the train. And we also haven't seen Juniper in a while, so what if we snuck on with Juniper? Because that was another part of my theory. For or maybe, before. like, Juniper meets up with him, or maybe it's all just gonna happen a little later. Maybe. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, do you think- do you think that he snuck onto the train, no. is my first question. I don't think he snuck onto the train. I think he's getting down there. If he did way. sneak onto the train, which side did he go on? Do you think that Ruby is gonna see him, or do you think that he- he'd end up with Juniper? I feel like he would have gone after Blake, so I feel like he would have stayed on the other side. But then also, I feel like if he did that, they would give us a little more information, because then, like, what, we're just gonna have a flashback where he sneaks on the train and... We're yeah, gonna, but we can already put two and two together. Later. We don't need don't a flashback know. seeing him sneaking on or whatever. If he just popped up and he would be like, how did you get here? Oh, I went on the train. I'm well, like, right, nobody needs to know how he got there, right? Because, like... We as the fan base are already theorizing that, like, oh, those two idiots left the back door open. He could have just snuck in the back door. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if Hazel, Emerald, and Mercury came after Team Ruby, because sure, apparently yeah. they know where she is now, they wouldn't be know. like, how did you get here? I also don't, like, think, he's, I I also don't think that's gonna happen. So. But he has to be relevant. I, think he's I mean, maybe be he relevant. doesn't have to be, like, but I, I don't know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So apparently in the opening, Jean, like, has a tussle with with Oscar, so inevitably... Well, that seems like later. Yeah, so I or think Or a flashback or something. Maybe that's later on in the season when they're back and connected. Maybe it's, like, after the they're winter... Maybe after oh. the winter break, you'll see them back connected with Juniper. I mean, that could also have been a flashback. Because a or, lot of people say that's in maybe, Mistral House. I don't, I don't know. know. I just don't think Adam went on the train. Anyway. It's possible, but... That's why I didn't do I the know. theory with you. <laughs> why? <'Cause laughs> because I... you don't... You don't think so. <laughs> Okay. And so I needed to spend the ten minutes talking about the theory, and it would have been another ten minutes fighting with you. <laughs> well, you don't have to fight me. <laughs> Anyways, so okay, um, forget so. it. And then Yang was like, "We're fine again." Also, she also said that she said that twice now. Like, "Hey, we're fine." When Blake took down the bag, and now she said it again. Also, everybody is tired. Yeah. So Yang is saying, I'm tired, and Weiss is also like, I'm tired. So I don't know if that means anything. Like, obviously they'd be tired, we but it seems like they are that. falling asleep. We may talk right? about that in a different video. In a different video. <laughs> Lock up the cellar, because Crow's an alcoholic. Like, alright, Ruby. Yeah, so that Ruby was, and Weiss uh... are in the cellar, they find a bar, they immediately, like, I'm worried about my uncle's alcoholism. And I remember, okay, Great. this show is, is going places. I like how Weiss has doubts, like, yeah, about Weiss is going like, to Why? Do we have to And Ruby's like, them? are you serious? And then I'm just like, what do you mean, is she serious? Like, why is that she not a, a valid, valid point? point? Like, you like, know what I, I mean? Understand you have to I would love to know forward, what Ruby but... was gonna say after that, I guess. Like, she was like, are you serious? But, like, I don't know how I would, like, pair, like phrase this. I guess. But, like, usually if somebody says, like, blah, 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 are you serious? Like, no, this is the, you know, whatever. Yeah. And so what what would Ruby's response be? Like, what was she thinking when she was like, oh, like, are you serious, Weiss? Like, no, we gotta do X, Y, and Z. We gotta still, are you serious? We can't just stop fighting, even if we don't have a plan. I think that's her idea. Maybe. But, but even, yeah, we even, never heard that, so I'm wondering, face, like, she uh... she looks like, like, oh, I don't, like, you have a good point, but I just don't want to give up hopeless give up hope. Maybe. That's what yeah. I'm getting. I'm kind of wonder. I'm just wondering about it. Like, I don't have an answer. I just thought that that was interesting, because, you know, if Hunter said something, like, totally outlandish, and I was like, no, are you serious? Like, are you serious, Hunter? Like, that's, like, that's wrong, or whatever. Listen, like, in the history of our friendship, I have not been the one to say outlandish things. Okay. But you know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> like, anyway. Uh, but yeah, they're all tired, which is interesting, and we're gonna talk and about that later, but, um... But Ruby finds beans, and they're all happy about their beans, and they yeah. walk out, and you see a cellar door, and the cellar door shakes or opens what? up, and it looks like it's chained, so my guess is that when they go in the cellar door, they'll find that multi-armed creature, and that's the fight Ruby has in the but opening. But is it the multi-armed creature? I That's my best guess. A what, lot do you of think the... it's gonna be Adam in there? Like, I was on the train! <laughs> Like, what do you... No, 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 no. It's While you fuckers were off, like, hearing the history of the universe, I... It's because I it seems like where Ruby is fighting is actually outside in that hole that's maybe. at the front of the house. So yeah, I don't know if it's, it's the arms brick, in there. But maybe it's brick when they go down to the cellar. Know. I mean, there should be stuff maybe in the wine cellar, in the though. Cellar. So that wouldn't make sense yeah. for... Other unless it's wine, an empty wine cellar, right? Wine and beans. But it know. seems like there's, you know, stuff down there. 
but yeah, anyway. So this was fun. Um, yeah. We're going to record videos for the week, I guess. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm. You guys should become patrons over on Patreon. And uh, we will see you later. Bye. Thank you to our wonderful patrons over on Patreon for supporting the channel. Patrons get a bunch of different cool rewards ranging from access to VIP chats or uh, getting video tickets, which can basically uh, be used to request us to do uh, videos, uh, for example. We can advance early access or access to our Discord server. All of those are rewards that uh, our patrons can get, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I do recommend it if you guys want to uh, support the channel. We have so much fun talking on our discord server about uh whatever it may be whether that's ruby or kingdom hearts or miraculous ladybug right and uh the early access helps you guys obviously get to see our videos before anybody else does and so that's also pretty cool uh the vip chat is pretty exclusive i can re reply like a bit faster there it's a bit more one-on-one -on -one. so if you guys are interested in any of those i do suggest that you guys become patrons over on patreon the link is in the description and thank you again for all of our patrons for uh helping us out we'll see you guys later bye Bye.